I think most small businesses in this country are actually quite unaware of either the responsibility or the opportunity that apprenticeship provides. Uh, the few that are engaged have found it both effortful and rewarding. And I think that, to me, the big eye-opener was the, essentially how many small businesses underappreciated the opportunities that apprentices afford. I think primarily if a small company takes on an apprentice, the long-term benefit to them is considerable. It has been shown over and over again that apprentices are more loyal and more effective employees of a business. And in truth, it should be the case. You are teaching somebody in a much more profound ways the intricacies of your business and how it operates. And thus you end up with an employee that has a deeper engagement and quite frankly, a much greater loyalty to the business that's taught him. Well, like any real benefit, there is a cost incurred. And unfortunately, like many things in life, the cost precedes the benefit. And many small businesses are very oriented to the short term, to short term cost structures. And frequently, when they go to hire, they're hiring for an immediate need. And so they look for somebody who's fully qualified to solve the immediate problem. The challenge for small businesses generally is not getting their heads above the parapet and looking to a more distant horizon. And that failure essentially percolates into the issue of apprenticeships because an apprenticeship is something where you're training someone today for a longer term benefit in the long run. And thus I think that the reason we don't see more take up is because small businesses tend to work on such short time horizons. I think that there is the informal world of apprenticeships and the formal world. In the informal world, the most highly regarded apprenticeships are the ones that we choose for societal reasons and prestige reasons not to call apprenticeships. Every doctor is an apprentice first. Every engineer is an apprentice first. Every accountant and every lawyer are apprentices first. But because they are such prestigious positions, we have not historically called them apprenticeships. The most highly regarded apprenticeships that are named as such tend to be in engineering because there is a long established tradition of bringing people up through the ranks, especially in highly skilled engineering functions. Thus BAE and other companies like it, Rolls-Royce, ironically, has the Rolls-Royce of apprenticeships. And these companies understand and have understood those long-term benefits. Those sectors are well engaged. Other sectors could be well engaged. It's too early to say. We are at a point now where the implementation of my review is now gaining momentum and the government has fully endorsed the review and therefore one expects them to see an implementation across all of the recommendations and I am encouraged by their response and their activity and in particular Matthew Hancock the minister in charge is one of the greatest fans of what the review recommends thus I'm encouraged by the pace of activity I honestly don't think we can expect to see any immediate changes in small business behavior until the review's suggestions are implemented.